Okay, guys. Hey, D. Williams here, and I am really excited because it's Wednesday and we are back at it again. We are putting our courses and coaching programs and training programs together by way of upskilling and reskilling our niche recruitment and staffing business. I'm so excited. And like people have been waiting for this, like everywhere people have been waiting for this. I've gotten messages on uh, what is it? Uh, on Instagram, people have been shouting us, uh, tagging us on Instagram, letting us know that they have put their course in. And um, yeah, it's wonderful. You can invite anybody you want, Eva. <laughs> and um, people have been emailing me. We got Brenda. Y'all know I use Brenda as an example. Uh, when we first got started here and she's on the line, she's going to be sharing what she's done so far. She's going to put her stuff in Reskillify. If you are watching live online and you want me to take a look at your um, at what you've put together or help you walk you through the process of putting your course together, uploading your course into Reskillify, you've got to come on to my Zoom uh, meeting so that you can share your screen. OK, and if you need the Zoom link, let me know and I'll send it to you for anybody who wants to, to come in. So I just hey, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> Efren said he's excited. He said excited. I'm happy. He's happy. You're happy with your progress. I love that, Efren. Yes. Woo! That's what it's all about. And I'm telling y'all, I always, I, I'm launching courses every day, to be honest with you. I'm launching courses like, you know, like I eat breakfast. So <laughs> it can get really addictive, to be honest with you. So if you're just starting, if you're just coming in here for the last seven weeks, this is week seven for the last seven weeks, we've been coming back and forth, working on putting our courses together. If you're watching live on YouTube, I want you to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I um, I just hit a million views. <laughs> so exciting. So um, subscribe, 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 and make sure you like, and uh, make sure you comment under the video. Let me know how you feel about the trainings. This is week seven. And so um, I'm really excited. And so if you're on YouTube or Facebook, LinkedIn, like this video and share it. And I don't care where you're watching, share it. If you're here on the, the Zoom, call somebody, email somebody, share the link, bring them in. It's free. Okay, that's the first thing. And it's all about leveling you up. That's what this is about. We're talking about getting on a Reskillify platform. The tagline was when it's time to level up Reskillify, okay? And we are creating additional revenue streams. We are making sure that we're compliant. We are creating lead generation avenues for our staffing businesses. And if you don't have a staffing business, another business, that's cool too. But you're creating leads. These are all the ways, These are all. this is all the value that you see when you are creating courses and coaching programs and depending on your strategy, okay, depending on your strategy, that's what's going to define what type of coach you create. Of course, you're great. So first things first, I have some people who are just chiming in their first time in and I want to say, hey, and uh, where you coming? Where you chiming in from? I would love to know your name, where you chiming in from. If you're here regarding staffing, what's your niche? If you are not here regarding staffing, what are you selling? What type of course are you bringing into the, into the world? What type of coaching program are you bringing into the world? I want to know. Uh, awesome. I'm going to move my camera over here because I want to be able to see a little bit better. Just give me one second. Eh, that's better. Um, let's see. Oh, awesome. Okay. Hey, New Diligence. Nice to see you. Cian, I'm one of your fans. Looking forward to have a chance to meet you. I would love to meet you. Hey, Yvonne. Good to see you here. I love miss you. I miss you. Miss your face. All right. I love that. That is amazing. Stacy, she's in Georgia. I love that. Let's see. Let's get fired up. So before I go and, and go to the replay and start talking about what we've done in the past, okay? Before I start talking about what we've done in the past, let's first talk about why it's imperative that right now, today, in 2023, you are thinking about courses, training, coaching programs, why? And, and where can you use it beyond just your staffing business, right? Um, many of you have side hustles, right? Many of you have side hustles. My sister-in-law, she bakes cakes. <laughs> and uh, she loves it. She likes to teach that. My mom, she's she goes to church and she does the, um, I don't know if y'all know about this, but they like dress the pastor's table and his thing like that. I'm like, my, you should do a course on that. There are people out there who would love to know like what your ideas are or how you're doing and how you've done it. 
I mean, there are so many different ways you can utilize and incorporate a course into your world. If you're a nurse and you're attempting to bring other nurses together, one of the biggest challenges right now in the healthcare space is the fact that um, there's nurse burnout. There's major nurse burnout. But you can build a coaching program that inspires and helps nurses to uh, 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 find other ways to manage the work that they're doing so that they're not burnt out, right? And you can take that thing to a whole different level. I'm talking creating a whole community. And you all know that there are lots of communities out there for nurses, but create your own, make it, get a new one out there. And the cool thing is, is that when you create that community, you can show value by providing courses, the things that are value that are important to them, right? Because that's what it's all about, things that are important to them. And so what's important? I don't know what's important to nurses. What's important to nurses? Hey, Luna, I'm so glad to see you here. You know you need a course, Luna. You know you need a course. First of all, the success that you've had over the last couple of years since you launched your business. You know you need a chorus. Oh, my gosh, Luna, I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so, <laughs> so that's, let's do it. Let's get it together. Okay, so nurses, y'all, y'all should, you should be finding ways to acquire talent. And I, I keep teasing the nurses so bad because I have a number of clients who are, um, who have um, lots of job orders and no nurses. And when I'm talking to a lot of the nurses that are recruiting, they're saying, we're the nurses. And I'm like, but you're the nurse. You're supposed to know what the nurses are. You know, so how are you all acquiring nurses? How are you all acquiring nurses and retaining nurses? And one of the major ways that you can acquire and retain nurses is through online courses, online training, um, coaching programs, coaching programs that will take your your market to a whole different level. I hope y'all are fired up today because I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go back and do a quick replay of all the things that we've done so far for anybody who's coming in today. This is your first time and you're like, okay, D, I'm sold for these courses. You're right. Uh, I can make 5,000 a week. I can make 10,000 a week. I can make 15,000 a week. I can make 20,000 a week. I can make 30,000 a week. And I know that would be a blessing to many of you, especially if you're running a staffing business. That's additional revenue just coming right on into your business on the back end, right? Amen. Everybody can use that, right? <laughs> so now we're going to talk about putting those pieces together. So if you just got here, hold on tight because I'm going to share my screen and we're going to get this thing going. We're going to have some fun, fun, fun. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see. I think you should be able to see my screen. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. All right. Veronica from Seattle, Washington. I'm in staffing and consulting services. Hey, Veronica. So glad you're here. Okay. So let's share this screen and let's get started tonight because y'all know I like to really get into the biz here. Uh, and I want to just make sure everybody's online that you all can see my PowerPoint. Let me know. Say yes. Brenda, tell me yes. So I know. <laughs> everybody can see i think so i think so i think so okay so this is where okay perfect thank you i appreciate that let me pull my swap my screens over okay this is where we started or, or where we pretty much finished off i i tell people all the time most people think the staffing business works like this it's very simple i get a contract reach out to the client see who, who he knows, what he's looking for. He says, I'm looking to fill this role. The recruiter thinks, the, the staffing preneur thinks, I'll create the job posting, post it on job boards. And then I'm going to sit back and I'm going to wait for people to apply. And while I wait for people to apply, I'll view the resumes that I received. And then I'll send the resumes over to the employer, the ones that I like. I may have talked to the candidate. I may not have. The employer agrees to the interview, the candidate. So I reach out. I confirm that the candidate agrees. He meets with the client. The client and the candidate have a great bond. They accept the job and woohoo, the placement takes place. I think it might have been working like that, like in 1989. Like now is definitely looking like this. And if you've got layers like this in your business, you have to know there are opportunities here for you to provide training as a form of automation in your business or for you to provide and not just training, but yeah, I mean, I would say that training and coaching as a form of automation, you want to bring people through 
your pipeline, right? And all three of these are pipelines. So on the top one here is your candidate pipeline. On the bottom is your client pipeline. And in the middle is you as the staffing agency managing the process for both the client and the candidate's journey, right? I said pipeline, but I mean journey, client and candidate journey. And so each one of these bullet points is a process. And my question to you is, when you look at those bullet points, do you see an opportunity for you to provide paid training or, or voluntary training that will generate leads or, ret or retain either a client or candidate? And the answer is absolutely yes. Do you, can you find an opportunity to, um, to create a level of automation using video, getting the candidates from one port of the process to the other? The answer is yes. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about adding on additional revenue. We're talking about adding on additional value. We're talking about creating a stronger thought leadership uh, brand, right? We're talking about all of those things, but we're talking about doing that through courses. So if this is your first week and you're just getting started. We have this free uh, a document that is here for you. Now, typically people don't give stuff like this away in real life. They do not give stuff like this away, not for free. And this document was really comprehensive. I put this document together specifically for staffing agencies. If you're not a staffing agency, you can still use it. Uh, but I did think I'm going to put one together for non-staffing agencies. But this one literally is for staffingpreneurs. And, um, and it is a guide. You can fill in the blanks. It's free. You can download it on the Google Drive and edit it. There's the QR code. Um, and so I want you to definitely, let me see, put there's the link. There's a URL, bit.ly, level up my staffing business. And you can go there and you can download the guide, the um, free guide. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hold on one second. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, and you'll be able to see. I'm going to show you. Hold on. I'm going to show you how awesome this document is. You know you want it and need it in your life. Don't deny it. And I'm going to show you how to access this because some people we're having a hard time accessing the document. I got a lot of um, requests to edit the document. And I want you to know you don't even need to do that. Just go to file. Make sure you're logged into your Google Drive. Okay, so you've got to be logged into your Google Drive. And then you're going to go to file and then make a copy. And then when you do the file, make a copy, it'll be an edible copy right there on your drive right there for you. And then you can go in and just start utilizing. Bow, 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 bow. And I made it like a checklist so you can just like check things off as you're going through the process. But I got to tell you the value in this document and anybody watching this, this you know, this in the staffing agency. Um, um, OK, I'll answer your question in a second. Um, <laughs> anybody here that's working in staffing, I have put the most valuable stuff in here for you. It's insane. I literally created the idea for you if you wanted to utilize it. What topics are you building for, for compliance, um, candidate onboarding? You know, you can do any candidate onboarding courses. You can add that as an additional um, uh, value add to your business model. You could also do it as a paid service to your business model if you don't want it free. Um, you can create workplace safety courses that educate candidates on the basics of work, workplace safety. In all actuality, you're supposed to have that if you're a staffing agency. That's a part of compliance. What if you don't? If you're not doing anything in regards to state workplace safety education, then you're not compliant, right? If, if you do have a, is it in your your? Is it beyond your manual? And if it's in your manual, that's cool. But what type of training are you providing? And you do you realize that when you're letting the employers know that this is something that you're doing, that makes them feel more comfortable. That lets them know that you're, you're, you're even further ahead of the game. So from a compliance perspective, and I need to add more examples, but from a compliance perspective, you definitely want to utilize training um, as a form of, of, um, of value add to your services. If you're doing professional development, you can create a candidate leadership development program, a course and a coaching program where you are that's aimed at grooming high potential candidates for leadership roles within your client organizations. And all of my staff entrepreneurs know I talk about this all the time. A lot of people, when they start staffing businesses, they go from the bottom up. 
right? They start with the CNA, the LPN, or the, the desktop administrator, or the administrative assistant, or customer service. Those people know nobody, or they know very few people in a leadership uh, capacity to where they're able to make help you to make help make decisions on bringing you into the fold. So the cool thing is if you're grooming your candidates for leadership roles or you're talking to leadership about this program that you're creating, you are essentially creating your future hiring managers. Can I get a, hey, can I get a, who? Oh, I know y'all heard that. I'm giving out fire tonight. I don't even know, like I'm not screaming, but the fire is real, okay? So you are creating you are essentially developing your future hiring managers. That's pretty dope. So just little suggestions like that. Let's talk a little bit about thought leadership. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, thought leadership. Use a webinar to course combo to share what you know about whatever theme topic um, or what's going on in your industry um, that your clients and your candidates are most passionate about. If you do a search on chat and ask chat, what are my clients most passionate about? What are they worrying about the most? Then you could do a webinar course combo on that particular topic. Very, very simple. Everybody's going to show up because everybody's thinking about it already. Make it, make it easy. Don't make it hard. Okay. Um, a big conversation today is about diversity, right? So you can use a webinar to course combo to share what you know about diversity and inclusion. I'm going to make this bigger. I should make this bigger, should I? Because I don't even have no glasses on. Don't y'all don't say nothing about that, but isn't that better? Ooh, that looks so much better. <laughs> okay, so lots of different things you can do there. Um, lead generation, you can use a webinar to course combo to generate leads to, to working relationships. Now, let me talk about this a little bit too. Now, a lot of people think I only work with healthcare staffing agencies, and that's not true. I work with every niche market. Um, anybody who wants to start a staffing business and they have the means to do so, I want to help, right? But a lot of healthcare professionals are in my community. A lot of staffing, a lot of healthcare, a lot of nurses, thank God, um, that I have the ability to have real relationships with. But they are out here ready to impact the world, either building their staffing businesses or, or have already launched and are killing it out here. Luna, shout out to Luna, shout out to Latasha, shout out to Jones, shout out to, I mean, um, who else? The, 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 the numbers keep going, right? So I just want to, you know, remind you that, that they're out here doing their thing. Now, listen, you have the ability to generate leads and working relationships. And I want everyone who who is taking the time to invest in this space. All y'all watching right now, I want you to think about how you can utilize more leads in your business right now. Because each and every, let me ask, can you use, can you use leads? Anybody? 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 Can you use any more leads in your business? And, and not just leads, but for my nurses, like you all are short nurses. What a great way to acquire quality nurses than by inviting them to a webinar about how to get rid of their burnout. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you, or, or you like literally, or having a nurse party, you know what I'm saying? Or a nurse trip, a tribute to the nurses who um, overcame breast cancer or overcame cancer or who have autistic children or whatever the case may be. Finding a, a community of nurses or a niche group of nurses and celebrating them or providing them with value. That, those are people that you would that are not on Indeed, that are not, that may or may not be on LinkedIn. Um, that that you would not that would not normally apply to a job. Most nurses aren't applying anyway, right? Um, you know what I'm saying. So those are people who you would not normally um, and, and and find or engage with. These are qu more quality leads, and those are the people you want to bring in. Lead generation is, an imp is imperative. Donald said yes, yes, yes. Right? Who? I mean, like that's a no brainer. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody wants leads. Everybody wants leads. I got another, let me just see here. Yes, that's what I see, a yes. <laughs> Everybody wants leads, so that's very, very important. Um, create your candidate pipeline, create your pi client pipeline. You know, show the value that you bring through coaching and um, programs and courses. If you're coaching your nurses, if you, you, you know, if you have the opportunity to coach your, your IT professionals, your coach, your warehouse professionals, like I don't know, whoever you're staffing, that would be an amazing, and they will pay for it, right? They'll pay for the coaching classes. They'll pay for the courses, 
right? So that's very important. And if you're working in the government and at the same time, that opens you up, that position positions you for you to, to, um, for you to bid on government contracts in another way beyond staffing. Did I say that? Mm, I think I did. Like offering courses and coaching programs essentially opens the door for you in government contracting. Hey, Carl from New York. Um, to be able to uh, go into government contracts, not just from the staffing realm, but also from, you know, the education, the course creation realm too. And, and two areas, two different NICS codes. So really, really cool stuff. I hope I didn't geek y'all out right now, but anybody who is interested in government contracting at some point in your business, that is very important to know. You know what I'm saying? That's very important to know. Okay. Um, the, the, the differentiate a lot of agencies aren't even utilizing courses. If you can utilize, like we have a reskillify where the courses that you have in under your brand, you can take those courses, put the iframe on your website. Okay. And then people can just buy the courses from your website and still end up and reskillify and, and it can be branded, you know, exactly to your business. And that can be a major differentiator. You can have another tab on your website that says learning or academy or courses. And you can have some that are free and then you can have some that are locked in or paid. And then you can show the employer, look, this is what we're doing for our candidates. So this is the additional value that we bring to an organization. I'm just talking about setting yourself apart and doing something, you know, beyond just finding the talent. Because you got to retain the talent. You got to retain the client. Okay. Um, additional revenue streams, you know, I'm just saying charge the candidates for watching the cor courses moving forward in their career, charge the employers to, um, that you're according to become your future clients to watch the courses, charge the employer companies for providing online learning to upskill and reskill their staff, whether that's on site or whether that's literally online. I say online though, but I, I've talked to a couple of people who say we're going to do something on site too. Um, Charge for the digital products that you're going to sell to support your courses. Call say, yes. <laughs> you know, your courses, your video trainings and your coaching programs. OK, and then add live classes on a weekly, biweekly or monthly basis. Right now, I'm not going to lie to you. I am crazy busy with my classes, with my clinics. Um, and I, I really want to bring coaches in, but my clinics aren't aggressive enough for me to do so right now. Right. Because they are on my some of my larger payment plans and not on my smaller ones. But I'm going to tell you something. Uh, maybe two years ago, three years pre COVID, for sure. Um, I was running my coaching program. I had four or five different coaching programs going a week and people were paying me ninety nine dollars a month, one hundred and twenty nine dollars a month. One coaching program, I would have 10 people. The other one, I had 40 people. Another one, I had 60 people. Another one, I had three people. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and But that was money that was coming in every, every month. All I had to do was show up. And I got to decide how long I wanted to show up and how often I wanted to show up. I got to decide if I wanted to do it once a week. I got to decide whether I wanted to do it once every two weeks or once a month. That's dope. I got to decide how much to charge for it. That's dope. That ended up being just like, I mean, for some of y'all, that's your car note. I mean, for some of y'all, that's that GoDaddy bill. <laughs> for some of y'all, that's your vacation money. That's my, um, I'm working on a beach, uh, while, you know, I'm working on the beach money. Uh, for some of y'all, that's a new pair of shoes. For some of y'all, y'all paying for your mom and, and, and her health and, and making sure she's taken care of. That little bit of change on the side from those coaching programs, uh, it, it changes everything. And the cool part about it is not only are you getting paid to impact, but you're building genuine relationships with the people who are coming to your classes. Like I genuinely love Brenda. Like I genuinely love Eva. Like I call Eva, Eva, where you at? What you been doing? How come I ain't seeing you? What's happening with you? I got this going on. Do you want to get involved? Like anybody that knows me knows that I would do that in a heartbeat. Because I've built relationships with these people because they've invested in me. But think about it. If you're in a space where your business is needing a, a jump start or your business is needing a cushion, just by investing a little bit more time every week, a little bit more time every week, you can have um, a constant stream of income 
and be creating the, your your creating curating your next set of hiring man <laughs> hiring managers and candidates. So I just want you to keep that in your mind. Okay, it's not even just about the course. And and I think next week I said I was uh, next week I'll be off. The week after I come back. But listen. When I do that, we're going to talk about the numbers because I want to pull the calculator out and show you how you can create so many different revenue streams with your courses and your coaching programs. Actually, on Reskillify, there are seven different ways you can generate revenue so that you can have a base foundation for your staffing business or maybe just for your life while you're trying to kick your staffing business off so you don't have to work a full time job. You know what I'm saying? It, it takes a little while to get there, a month or two, maybe three. But once you get there, it's like, I'm just throwing it out there for whoever needs to hear that. I don't know who needs to hear that. I don't know. But whoever needs to hear that, I, I'm just throwing it out there, okay? That's all I can say. I'm throwing it out there because it's real, okay? D. Williams is telling you it's real, real, real. Pre-COVID, post-COVID, it's real, 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 okay? So attract talent to your website. People are going to come to your website from all over the place that they've never heard from you before just because you got the course on your site. Oh, my gosh. That's like free SEO. <laughs> make it make sense. <laughs> right? You want to attract clients. You want to attract candidates. Right now, upskilling and reskilling is like, oh, my gosh, like the number one thing that employers are talking about. It is everything. OK, it is everything. So you should be thinking about how you're going to move forward with how things are evolving. Things are evolving. Think about it. You got AI, you got the aliens, you got all of these things happening. <laughs> OK, <laughs> and so <laughs> the world is changing and people are trying to figure out how to stay in the game. AI is going to evolve. You all know that it's going to evolve. Staffing will be here forever. But how who we staff and how we staff is going to, to definitely evolve. And I'm really trying to bring you all into the fold on how things are evolving and, and, uh, and, and, and trying to help you to get ahead of the curve before it happens. Everybody here needs a course on some type of course on AI. I'm working on mine now. Everybody needs a course to show people how to use artificial intelligence is going to be 100% a part of our lives. If you look now, I didn't do the, the stats, but if you look now, I can guarantee you the the on Indeed, the number of job posting that said they require somebody to have AI experience is probably out the freaking roof. You hear me? And that's because people are incorporating it into their everyday lives. I pay for chat, Claude, Bart. I don't pay for Bart. Clat, I, <laughs> chat. Claude, I pay for perplexity now because I really love perplexity. Um, and I use Bard every day. Like I'm I'm all in. <laughs> so it's, it's really, really important that you are thinking about how you're gonna set yourself apart. Hey Anika, how are you? All right, it's really important how you're gonna set yourself apart. So these are the things that we went over and just retaining your, your, your talent, retaining your clients. So after we did that, we talked about what you're building. So once you figure out, okay, what am I doing my course on? What am I doing my coaching program on? What am I doing my training program on? Once you choose one of those, then you're going to go in and decide how you're going to deliver it. Are you going to deliver a webinar, a course, a training program, or a coaching program? How are you going to deliver those live classes? I say when you have live classes, you should be thinking, me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that in green. Okay, like real talk. You should be thinking dollars because that's what you see, especially if you're doing them on a monthly basis. If you do it one time, you won't get the value. But if you have people paying monthly to, to be a, a part of you, you got, you got a pretty great cushion. Okay, um, list your topics. You can work with chat GPT. If you don't know how, go back to some of the older videos I went through in detail. I'll show you how to do it. Narrow down, get your course topics and then narrow down the top seven ones you love and then pick one out of that set out of those seven and then go in and ask chat to help you create your course title. Tell them to help you create 125 to 250 word description as well as a long description, your course main tag, your SEO meta title, your SEO meta keywords and your 160 characters. Now, I got to tell you, I'm going to put you into one of my accounts here and. I want to show you 
how you can go, how this course piece, like your workspace, okay? So I'm going in, first of all, I'm not going to go through my full dashboard, but I just want to say really quickly, when you come in, the first thing that happens is if you have any courses, I'm on the back end of Reskillify where the, um, where, um, where the instructors are, okay? So if you're joining Reskillify, let me just do this. Let me go backwards a little bit because I, I want to show you how it relates to the document, but I want to go backwards a little bit. If you go to reskillify.com, you're going to scroll down to the second section, not the first, the second, and you're going to click on try 30 days free, and it's going to automatically open up an account for you. If you are already on Reskillify as a learner, in order for you to get on, you have to use a different email address. You can't use the same email address, okay? You have to use a different email address, okay? Yes, Anika, aliens. <laughs> okay um so um you got to do that first once you do that it's going to create an account for you and now i'm showing you what it looks like on the inside so when i come in if i have courses happening so like my next course is in 13 hours and 19 minutes we have a reminder so you'll be able to know okay this is when you log in i need to make myself available for whatever courses i have look at that i got courses back to back bam 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 i'm on fire Y'all know how much I love my classes, okay? <laughs> I love my classes, okay? And then here you see you've got the chat where you can go in and, and communicate with folks that are in the system. I'm not scrolling all the way down. I just want to show you that really quickly. You got onboarding, and then we're going to go into courses and clinics. And the reason why this is important is because I want to show you, I'm going to do my 100 course. Uh, this is my favorite course. That's one of my favorite classes. I'm going to show you um, what it looks like on the back end. And I'll answer all questions. So stay, do not leave. I'm going to answer all the questions that I see in the chat box on YouTube and Facebook. I'm going to answer all the questions on LinkedIn. Um, if you're watching and you're just getting here, we are talking about reskilling and upskilling our staffing businesses. If you can do me a favor and like this video, I would really appreciate it. I am at, right at my million views. Like, you know what I'm saying? And um, and I'm almost at, I think, 17.5 subscribers on YouTube. So subscribe to my channel, please. And if you're on Facebook and LinkedIn, just like it so other people will come and watch the video and they can get the value out of it the way you're getting it, okay? I really appreciate that. <laughs> okay, so now what I want you to do, the reason why I was telling you this is because when you set up your course, and I'm going to have Brenda come in and share her screen in a second, but I'm just giving you an overview when the basic information that you're going to need to set up the course, and I'm showing you what it looks like live, I have mine favorited, but the basic information that you're going to need is the information that is right here, your course title, then you have your course title, okay, thank you, <laughs> then you have your 125 word description, this is your short description, okay, then you have your long description. Ooh, D likes to talk. That's a long description. 847 words long description, okay? And um, <laughs> roar. <laughs> and um, do you have your main tag, your meta title, your meta keywords, and your SEO description? You're actually going to end up putting that information here under the SEO tab. My title is not on it. That's interesting. I'll go back and fix that. But you see my, I'm tag heavy, baby. I'm not even playing with it, okay? I am tag heavy. I am not playing, okay? So you're going to find me when you go online. And then I have my meta description. And then I have my course tag, okay? And Oh, oh I can leave this. This can go away. Um, and then my course tag. So I'm going to have to save this in a second. So I just wanted to show you just how easy it is to just copy and paste. So if you do it here during the planning, then all you have to do is to paste it right there into Reskillify. Then you're going to go in and start doing your outline. How many people did their outline already? If you did your outline, if you did your outline, say something. Brenda, I know you did your outline. You can say something. If you did your outline, say something. Yes, Anika, tell them, please. Tell them how much they love. They're supposed to love me. <laughs> and I do be sharing the tea when I go live. She's talking about, please, so D can share the tea. <laughs> That's hilarious. Course outline. So I hope you have your course outline. Ephraim said he's got his course outline. I love that. Brenda says she's got her course outline. She gave me a copy of that outline. I said, let's look at this outline because I already tell she's overachieving the way I love the way she does. 
Okay, here we go. This is Brenda's sheet. Let's make it bigger, y'all, so we can see. Okay, so this is her sheet. She got her, her footer. Okay, let's go to Legion. Let's see what she got. Da, 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 da. So let's go down. Okay, here's her course topics that she, we put, I think me and her did this together, but she might have did this. I don't want to take credit for it. Okay, so here's her course ideas. She got different course topic ideas. I kind of redid it because I, I narrowed down on something I wanted to say, so. That's yeah, fine. Your foundation, thank you. <laughs> no, listen, Brenda. It's the, I, I just want you to succeed, honey, buddy. I, that's it. I'm here just to give I you the examples. It. Yeah, I love, I love that. So her course title is "Navigating Change in the ICU and Other Healthcare Settings: Mastering Adaptability in Dynamic Healthcare Settings." I love. And then she's got her description here, which is beautiful. She's got her long description, which is great. Let me look at the long description. The health care says comes in line with understanding. What's the call to action? Okay, so we've got to change this description. Okay, so this description here is a description of the course. It's describing okay. the actual course. This isn't so. Okay, wait, maybe it is, but let me just see. Can I read it for a second? Give me a second. Sure. Sure. Um, the health care is constantly Understand. See, this reads like it's um has particularly crafted to provide healthcare versus the knowledge skills. Uh, um, you gotta, you got. Okay, can I, can I touch it? Can I? Um, sure. Okay. Sure. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. So let's let's. Okay. 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 Don't get fired up, D. Whew. Breathe. You're full of excitement right now. Just calm down. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and ask chat just to kind of play with this a little bit, because this is great. It's good, mm -hmm. but we want it to be a little bit more selling. We want them to, we want them to buy the course. So okay. how you can do this is um, you're going to tell chat act as if um, you are act as if you are the world's greatest content writer and create a um, a compelling I'll put this in the chat so y'all can um, um, hey Deshaun I miss you Pooh how are you we're working on courses. We, we're working on using, we're using ChatGPT and other AI, and we're working on building courses for our niche recruitment and staffing business. So good to see you, Pooh. Create, okay, so act as if you're the world's greatest content writer and create a compelling um, um, a course description that will make any person who reads it <laughs> want to buy the course ASAP um, please provide um, a sense of urgency okay we want to have a sense of urgency and strong call to action CTAs to sign up for the course Right now, I have provided some context about the course below. Another thing um, on, I, let me, oh, oh I got to do a couple of things. Um, okay. So then I hit shift, return, shift, return, or shift, enter, shift, enter. I think if it's on a, a PC. And then I'm going to paste everything that she put in there. Shift, return, shift, return, shift, return. And then I'm going to go back to her document here. And I'm just going to go see you. Okay. So you don't have your outline. Oh, I just took, oh, did, did you I took it out? Yeah. You, I did have it. Yeah. Okay. Can you put it back in there? Oh, okay. Let me see. All right. But that's not the, what I just took out. Was it? Cause that was door the description. I don't know. I, everything was filled in. Um, let me see. Maybe you. Oh no 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 no, no 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 no. That was the. Uh, that was mine. That was mine. That was mine. Oh no wonder. Okay. That was mine. That was mine. That was mine. That yeah, was mine. I knew I had all of that filled in. Okay. So and then we have to give him the outline because a lot of times the outline is a part of the long description because people want to know what they're buying, 
right? They want to know what they're buying. Now, fortunate for you, when your courses are reskillified, when you start building your courses, it automatically creates the syllabus for you. But in this particular instance, we're going to give it to chat and just allow him to come in and just, um, um, you know, help us. I'm going to say here is the um, course outline for your reference. Now, listen, I got to tell you something, Brenda, and everybody else. Um, when you tell Chad to write a compelling, it's compelling, he's going to start selling that thing. I mean, like really, really selling this thing. Um, let me put the course outline in there. Okay. So I said, act as if you're the world's greatest content writer and create a compelling course description that will make any person, I say any people, any person, who reads it, want to buy the course ASAP. Please provide a sense, I spelled that wrong, that was so ghetto, sense of urgency and add and add um, and add lots of strong CTAs to sign up for the course right now. I provided some context about the course below. All right, let's cross our fingers. Oh, wait, I got a little cheat sheet, y'all. Oh, wait, where's my cheat sheet? Let me see. Let me see, let me see, because I have, I got this cheat sheet. I know I'm a, <laughs> y'all better ask me for this cheat sheet, but I got this cheat sheet and it helps me to um, make sure that I'm saying things in the right way. So for, for um, AI, um, I just want to see if I want to want him to present it. I don't want him to present it in the table and I don't want pros and cons. Ooh present the information in a markdown format. Now I do want that. Um, and, oh, and I also need to tell him like what tone I want to use. So let's go back um, in the course right now. Um, let's just say, um, can you present the information in a markdown format? And let's say the tone is going to be control F, T-O-N-E right here. Uh, let's see, tone, um, tone, 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 tone. I don't want my tone to be analytical. We don't want it to be analytical. That's tones. I think it's down here on the end where I'm talking to, let's see, can you present the of the sun? Let's see, this is the the planet, background. Okay, now I'm showing y'all all my... I'm showing y'all all of my secrets. Oh my God. I cannot believe this. Close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. <laughs> Do not look at my secrets, okay? Close your eyes. Hi, D. I'm confused on how to go about creating a course on reskill of financial skills. Is there one, anyone to give into training education? That's what we're doing now. That's literally what we're doing now. That is 100. That's what we've been doing for the last seven weeks. That's what we're doing now. That's literally what's happening, literally, step by step by step. Um, and we're going through Brenda's right now. Um, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. That's exactly what we've been doing. I want to, I've asked him for, um, da, 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 da. I hope y'all closing y'all eyes in real life. <laughs> I hope y'all are closing y'all eyes. Um, I would like, I don't want examples. This is what I'm looking for. I would like in a friendly and professional, um, oh, um, tone. That's literally what I'm looking for. Okay. 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 Now we got some action. Now we got some action. Send in my email for the cheat sheet. <laughs> You don't even need to send an email for the cheat sheet. They have it's a um, QR code. I'll put it up in a link. I'll put it in there. You could just take it on out of there. Um, and let me just see. I want to say and um, in a professional friend. Okay, that's a lot. So let's just see what he comes back with. <laughs> let's see. Okay, look at that, Brenda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now, this looks a lot better, doesn't it? So let's it just does. read what it says here. It says, are you ready to elevate your healthcare career to new heights? That sounds more like something that getting somebody into, you know, wanting to 
wanting to experience mm -hmm. it. The world of healthcare is in a constant flux and the demands on professionals have been have never been higher. Whether you're in the ICU or any other healthcare setting, setting the ability to adapt and excel is not just a bonus, it's a necessity. Why this mm -hmm. course? Real world relevance. Deep dive into the unique challenges of ICUs and the broader healthcare la landscape. Holistic approach. Understand not just the procedures, but the psychology behind adaptation. Skill enhancement. Mm -hmm. Master the art of swift decision making, problem solving, and critical thinking, uh, communication mastery. Learn to bridge communication gaps in high stress situations. Leadership excellence. Lead your team through change with confidence and poise. Organizational growth. Foster a culture of adapt adaptability within your institution. Case study analysis. Benefit from real world examples and best practices. Now, let's go over the course modules. Then it describes the course module so the user can go in and see what they're going to get access to. And it says, join now. Don't miss out on this transformative journey tailored for healthcare professionals, administrators, and anyone passionate about delivering exceptional patient care. By mastering adaptability, you'll not only survive, but thrive in a dynamic healthcare environment. Limited spots available. Sign up now and be a part of a community committed to healthcare excellence. Your patients and your profession will forever be grateful. Act fast. This course is in high demand and spots are filling up quickly. Secure your place today and embark on a journey that will redefine your healthcare career. Enroll now. It's the, you mm -hmm. see how the call to actions are. Come on now. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> Much more compelling. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Thank Anika you. said, come on now. She says, sharing is caring and you are so much love. We love you for everything. This is the deal. Let me just tell you, now this is something that you would probably want to put into your description. And you can go in and make changes however you feel. You already know. I, um, this is just an opportunity for you to really uh, take your description to a different level. Totally different, isn't it? Much different, yeah. Much more intriguing, you know, yes. to catch your attention. Yeah. The other one was sort of like a college kind of professor kind of thing, but yeah, this is better. <laughs> this is a lot better. So we're just going in home and then um oh am, am I oh this is oh this is a word document. Okay, I, I like that. Oh, it won't let me do that. Control V. That's okay, that's okay. You don't have to control V. But I really wanted to control. I really wanted it. So it's keeping the format and everything. Maybe that's a good thing, Brenda, that it's keeping okay. the format so that you can keep that format in when you paste it into Reskillify, right? So, mm -hmm. and then all you got to do is just, you know, like see how I'm just formatting things out. And, you know, mm -hmm. you know you're going to just have to for go back and clean the format up a little bit, but it is here for you to utilize. Okay. okay? So cool. Okay. Put a one in the box, y'all, if y'all fired up about that. I mean, that is nice. So that's what you're going to include into your description. Yes. Brenda, you put a one for yourself. <laughs> I'm fired up. I love that. I love that. That warm my heart. So, so I need to get that link. Are you going to give me that link for that? Or are you going to put it link? there now? Which link? I mean, for for what for what you just did on Chat GPT, I put it in your you know, so I, I put it on put your it document. In. It's in your um in the document. Oh, you already got it in there. Okay, uh -huh. good. This is um, but is this your Google Drive or no? Um, yeah, I I saved it from my um. It might be my downloads. I think your downloads, but where do you let me put, give me your Google Drive link so I can paste it on your Google Drive link because we can share that at the same time. Oh, okay. And I can put it directly on that link instead of on a document. But you've been working okay. off a document and not your Google Drive. Is that correct? I think so. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I have gotten so spoiled with using Google Drive. It is crazy. Okay. And now mm -hmm. I like that better than I like Microsoft Word. I never thought I would say that ever. My Google Docs. I never thought I would say that. But it's true. Okay. Y'all know I got to hurry up. Every week I come here, I got a date when I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every week I come in here, I'm on some other stuff. Let me get my charger because I see my my laptop is going down. Okay. Um, okay, okay. So now because I would look at it. okay, so when you give me that, and I will and I'll email this back to you. Maybe that'll be a better way to do it. I don't know, but I want you to be able to work on it right now while while when you share your screen. I okay. love your course outline, it's great. 
and you've got your course requirements. Okay, mm -hmm. so you said they have to have an educational background, um, large mm -hmm. language proficiency, technology requirements. You did an amazing job. You have your success you. outcomes. You did an amazing job with that. These are the things that they're going to end up with at the end of the course. So by the end of the course, they're going to have enhanced healthcare adaptability. They're going to have improved patient care. And I, if I were you, I would put it in, I'm going to ask him to write, rewrite this in second. Oh, it is in there. Learn how to foster, learn how to foster. Okay. So that is in there. Okay. So enhance, um, you, I would do like this. You will, you know, like you should be able to, you know, something like uh -huh. that. Cause it's a success outcome. You should be able uh -huh. to enhance healthcare that, you know, be able to understand or have a deep understanding. So I just give it so that when the person is reading it, they're still really fired up about what they're going to experience at the end of the course. Okay. And then okay. that's perfect. And then let's go down here. Ooh, 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 so excited. Uh, <laughs> okay, and now you're getting into the nitty gritty. Okay, as I said, okay, you put that in there. There are no prerequisites, okay? Fleshing out your products, okay? So you're going to do samples. So you're going to do a case uh, um, case study. So you're going to do a case study, case based problem solver by a participant with a real asset. Okay, simulation exercises. But these are, okay, these are exercises. I get with that ability assessment. Did you create the assessment? Um, no, not yet. Okay. You need help with that? Yeah. I do. <laughs> you know, I, I like that so. stuff. Everybody here, like, hey. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Donald, Donald got me over here cracking up. I'm not even going to lie. He got me up. Oh, 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 they keep asking me for the cheat sheet. I'm so sorry. Let me get the cheat sheet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So here's the cheat sheet. Brenda, they looking at your cheat sheet and they done got fired up, okay? They're okay, like, cheat okay. sheet, send the cheat sheet now. Okay, so there's the cheat sheet. There it is. The link just went in there. And when you get into the drive, you got to be logged into your Google Drive and then you just go to file, make a copy, and then you'll be able to edit your own sheet. So I hope that was helpful. I'm still going to answer everybody's questions too. Anybody who snuck questions in, I'm going to answer the questions, okay? So just chill. I got your back. I got your back, okay? <laughs> okay, so let's get into this. So Okay, so yeah, so okay, we got two weeks. So next week, maybe we'll talk about numbers. Not next week, but the week after, because I take a week break to, to do my other, my other thing. But the week after next, we'll come back. We'll do um, numbers, but we'll also talk about how to create your um, assessments, how to create the assessments for um, and your digital downloads for you to add to the course and or sell separately. I mean, mm -mm, I don't know. Somebody might want to sell, you know. You want the cheat sheet too? Of course. I have no problem sharing the cheat sheet. No problem whatsoever. I hope everybody goes in there and gets a piece of that cheat sheet because I made it for you, specifically for you. Okay, an adaptability action plan, which I love. Um, the digital downloads. Okay, so you need an adaptability checklist. You need an ebook on healthcare adaptability. You need an adaptability mm -hmm. self-assessment. Okay, it looks mm -hmm. like there's a resource library that's being created. You're welcome. Um, a recurated collection of downloadable resources. That's what we're basically doing. But I don't think you need to do the resource library. I mean, I mean wait, let me ask you about this. Where are you putting the resource library? Why do you feel like you want to do the resource library? Well, that was that was one of the suggestions from chat GPT. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of put in um, the different suggestions, but I don't have to do that one. Uh, especially if it's complicated and, you know, too involved. I well, take that I, I think that this one you can save for later. Maybe I should have put okay. another row in there that was like, um, maybe in the future version, I'll put another row in there that will allow you to rate them, like which ones you want to do. But I think this mm -hmm. one you should hold on um, okay. because it says curate a collection of downloadable resources. I mean, these are downloadable resources, the self-assessment the healthcare adaptability to checklist. But when we come back together and we do this together with everybody online, we're going to define whether or not you want your your, um, your self-assessments to be electronic 
or whether you just want them to be like on a Google on, I mean, on a, a downloadable, there's a lot of things we can do. You know, I love creating digital products. Like I love, I am so good okay. at it too. So I can't mm -hmm. wait to help you. Okay. I like the self-assessment and this could be, this self-assessment should go on your website as a lead magnet. That should go on, because okay. that's really like a quiz. That should go right. on your website as a lead magnet instead of mm -hmm. being a digital download. It can still be a digital download, but I think this should be a lead magnet for sure because everybody okay. likes taking a good assessment. Am I good enough? That's the question everybody asks. I, I hope I'm good enough. You know what I'm saying? Um, so mm -hmm. that's that's good enough. Oh, that's good. And then um, the toolkit, create a digital cool toolkit that includes templates, worksheets. So if you if you put all of these together, like let's say you do a paper quiz and an electronic quiz, you do the mm -hmm. ebook, um, you do the checklist, you could call that a, a toolkit if you want okay. when you put them okay. together. If they're separate, then it's not really a toolkit. And I, okay. if you're doing the infographics, mm, I, I think you can hold on that too for now. Um, okay. Because I don't see where that, that's going to come into value right now. But I'm going to tell you, um, let me, let me just go behind just a little bit. I'm going to okay. just say, thank you. Now, um, as a, and I'm going to space right there and I'm going to stick that there. And I'm going to say now as a, I think I made him an expert in something. Oh yeah. Um, as a, as the world's wait, wait. So I, I don't know if I want, I don't want him to be a copywriter right now. I want him to be like an, an, an executive. I want him to be like the executive. So let me go look at my cheat sheet. Hold on one second, y'all. I got to look at my cheat sheet. Okay, I'll share it with you. You don't have to break my leg. Look at this. I know y'all want all <laughs> yes. my brain. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm joking. So I want them to act as if they are a hospital executive. No. Um, where is my cheat sheet where they are? Talent acquisition. Here it is. A talent acquisition, HR and talent acquisition. Um, no, I want a hospital executive like this. So what I did now, this is a real secret of mine. I cannot believe I am sharing this with you. Um, no, you don't have to send it to my, um, should I send you my email, but you have it though. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> to access the document, you don't need my email, but is it, is it for me to contact you about? Reskillify? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. You got to help me out. You know, I, I don't read between the lines so well. So don't be mad at me. Um, so here's one of my secret weapons um, <clears throat> for anybody. How many people I got on here? I'm sharing to see. Y'all better. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm telling him to act now, act as if um, you're an expert hospital executive. For the cheat sheet, you don't need to send me your email. Uh, we didn't get that cheat sheet. We received the worksheet. That is, oh, I'm not giving y'all my real cheat sheet. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute now. I'm not giving y'all my, like, my, uh... <laughs> that is hilarious. I am so tickled. I am not giving y'all my uh, my prompt engineering cheat sheet, okay? <laughs> y'all are hilarious. I keep putting the workshop. I keep putting the <laughs> I keep putting the worksheet in there. Y'all talking about y'all. Listen, okay. Thank you. Now act as if you're an expert hospital executive, a CEO, COO. Um, uh, I don't I don't know about a CFO. I don't think we need a CFO for this particular example chief medical officer or chief nursing officer. And I gave him examples of people who um, are considered to be the best in the best in these areas. So Ron, shout out to Ron Williams, chairman of RW2 Enterprises. Shout out to Dr. David Brown, the president of Massachusetts General Hospital. Shout out to Dr. Cliff Majerian, CEO of University Hospitals. Shout out to Dr. Redonda Miller, president of the John Hopkins Hospital. 
Shout out to Dr. Melinda Estes, president and CEO of St. Luke's Health System. Shout out to Dr. G. Farigara. I don't I know. I hope I'm going to butcher your name. President and CEO of the Mayo Clinic. Shout out to Dr. John um, Wiggins Warren. He's the chief medical officer of Walmart. Shout out to Dr. McAnnie, um, senior vice president and chief medical officer at Boston Medical Center. And also shout out to Dr. Richard Rions, chief medical officer at Good Samaritan Hospital. So these are all people who are esteemed professionals in the space. And I'm asking Chet to act as if he is an expert hospital executive like these people. And I want to know what, and now I'm going to give him an, an action, um, analyze, A-N-A-L-Y-S-E. No, how do you spell analyze? Is that right? Analyze, Z-E. Analyze the, um, the below... B E L O W options that I should say you have created. I have created um, for my course. These are what I have so far for digital downloads um, um, and resources and course resources. Um, um, what am I missing? I think that's the first question I want to ask. What am I missing? Um, that's, um, um, do you have any unique suggestions? Do you have any UNIQ unique suggestions? Um, and there you go. So now I've just kind of put that there and then I'm going to put my quotes behind it so he knows. And then let's just see. How that flows because I, I wasn't as um okay he said oh <laughs> chat is too much he said as a seasoned healthcare executive I've seen firsthand the importance of adaptability in the ever evolving healthcare landscape when did he he's so funny he says the resources okay. you, you've outlined are comprehensive and will undoubtedly provide immense value to course participants however Based on my experience and understanding of the needs of healthcare professionals, I like to offer some additional suggestions and insights. He says that you should do an interactive case simulation, a digital simulation where participants can virtually navigate through real world healthcare scenarios, making decisions and seeing the outcomes. This hands-on approach can help solidify the principles taught in the course. That's interesting. That's something, Brenda, you could do during, that's what you could pay for. Maybe um, people could pay for for the live coaching classes. Maybe once a mm -hmm. week you do like a live simulation where people, everybody comes online. Like, you know how we meet live every week, right? So they mm -hmm. come on a yeah. live and, and, and then you have a different topic every week related to adaptability based on the course. Mm -hmm. And you have some type of simulation where people can go in and simulate those things. I think that'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know Chad good. is doing it, Amika. Yeah. He's doing it. Okay, so then he mm -hmm. said, peer discussion forums, create a platform. And that's too much. Expert interviews, collaborate with leading healthcare professionals, administrators, and thought leaders to provide exclusive interviews. These can offer deeper. Now, I agree with that. That should be your podcast. Or that could also, you could create, if you, ooh, 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 I got an idea. You could, um, you know, what are, they, what are those things? I wish Sherry um, was here. I'm not Sherry, um, Stephanie, um, Stephanie Nicole, because I did this event a couple of years ago. It was the Mo Plan Do event, and we put people in the hot seat. So maybe you could do something like that, like invite experts to come in, put them in the hot seat for the people who are taking the course to be able to learn from them, ask them questions. That also could be something that would be worth coming, um, coming, paying weekly or bi-weekly or monthly for. And these are all two out of the box for me. I think I'm going to go back mm -hmm. and ask him again, and I'm going to ask him differently. He was too out of the box. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go back and let's say, um, um, let me see. Do you have any um, um simple, <laughs> basic <laughs> suggestions? <Okay. laughs> <Okay. laughs> not, not so. Let's just see. Let's see what he's saying now. That's so funny. Let's see. Okay, FAQ, glossier terms, quick tips and trips. 
Okay. Printable posters. That's interesting. You can do these like cute little cards. You can do these cards. Printable po case study summaries. That's boring. Feedback mm. forms. I, I, that's interesting. Adaptability challenges. I'm going to ask him again and say, see, we got to we got to break this down a little bit more. Do you have any suggestions um, of templates, um, checklists, toolkits? Um, um, let me just see. Um, what else do we have? Calculators. I always like a good calculator. C A L C U L A T. Surveys. Um, mm. What else? Um, uh, Ebooks. Guides. <laughs> um, uh, what is it? Uh, what is not? They're not file serves. They're swipe files. In my brain. Swipe files. <laughs> Where's Carl? All I keep thinking about is my date, Carl. <laughs> swipe file. Um, you know, or anything, or anything they can download. Anything um, digital, D-I-G, to be downloaded. Oh, AD. All right, now let's see if he come back a little bit different now. Then. Get some water and hydrate ourselves in this moment. Okay, scenario-based template, a decision-making calculator. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. What is that about exactly, decision-making calculator? He said a digital a tool that helps professionals weigh the pros and cons of various decisions taking into account factors like patient safety, costs, and potential outcomes. Oh, okay. We would have to have him pull the layers back from that one, right? Um, mm -hmm. He's got a feedback and experience survey, post-course completion, provide a digital survey to gather feedback on the course. He's got, I like this, Brenda, an adaptability mm -hmm. journal. What do you love think? Love it. That is perfect. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's so perfect to go in. Why are we geeking yeah. out in this moment in front of the whole world? This is not <laughs> even know if this is right. Because we're creating. We are creating together. things. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the, uh, um, um, no, not the webinar recordings because I've sold them. No, the infographics. We're not doing infographics at all. Mm -hmm. I can just mm -hmm. already tell you, I know that's not. So it's not formatted properly, unfortunately, but at least we got it in here. So I definitely mm -hmm. like the adaptability, uh, the, the adaptability, adaptability journal template I love. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. Let's see what else. Ooh, a crisis management guide. <laughs> that looks exciting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, best practices swipe file or curate a collection of best practices from leading healthcare institutions worldwide. Okay, interactive case study workbook. I love a good workbook, an interactive mm -hmm. digital workbook where participants can walk through the real. We should put an interactive digital workbook on Reskillify, like that might be pretty cool. Um, peer interaction platform. We're already kind of doing that at Reskillify, so don't have to worry about that. I like the adaptability scorecard, a tool that allows healthcare like institutions to assess their overall adaptability quotient, quotient, taking into account factors like staff training, technology adaption, and patient feedback. So I actually really like this. I'm going to add that to your sheet, and I'm going to replace that with the resource library. Okay. I keep taking over your stuff. This is why Eva was like, why you ain't do mine, D? <laughs> well, you're, you're a big help. You're really helping me. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, they have a change management roadmap, a downloadable roadmap that outlines the steps and strategies for effectively managing change in healthcare sense, um, settings, ethical dilemma guide. That's very interesting. Um, it addresses common ethical dilemmas faced in healthcare, digital flashcards. That's what I was thinking about earlier, flashcards. Flashcards mm -hmm. highlighting key concepts, terms, and strategies related to adaptability, allowing for quick revision and reinforcement. I got to tell you something, Brenda. I think that's the thing that's, that Reskillify is missing, right, is digital flashcards. Because mm -hmm. every you want to mem rem remember things. It's things that I want the staffingpreneurs to remember. Like uh, mm -hmm. people do business with people they like and know and trust. There's fortune and the follow-up. Follow-up every day. 
um, submittals. Mm -hmm. If there's no submittals, you're not making any money. Um, right. You know, I your just, candidates are your capital. Your candidates mm -hmm. are your capital. Like it's things I want y'all to remember. I think uh, uh, I like the idea of a digital flashcard. I'm definitely going to look into that. That's pretty dope. And then mm -hmm. it's interactive webinars with Q&A, which is the weekly, uh, I think instead of interactive webinars, that should be your live classes and then you can sell those later. And then the cultural mm -hmm. adaptability toolkit, given the diverse nature of healthcare settings, a toolkit focusing on cultural adaptability. I, I'm, okay, so I think we got the two things to replace. That was exactly what we needed. Two things to okay. replace what we had mm -hmm. here. I'm so proud of the work that we have done here today. I can't even explain <laughs> <laughs> you be laughing at me. <laughs> but I'm so proud of the work that we've done here today. That is like so good. Okay, yeah. let's go back to home and format. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I want to format that. And I formatted the A too much. Y'all know I'm a format junkie. Like I love formatting. Okay. Oh, wait. Anika, you said virtual reality with meta does the hands-on experience with me listen i didn't know um easy says all good that's pretty dope okay so you got the adaptability scorecard you got the toolkit you got the journal the journal i'm excited about um and yeah this is looking so good so these are the things that you're adding to your course to create value more value okay. in your business i absolutely freaking love it okay mm -hmm. This is what it is all about. Oh, I did this wrong. And then, okay, bam. And then that's what I did wrong up here. I just need to get rid of that. Okay. Boop. okay. Right. So we got it. Very and then we good. got a nice lead magnet. And I think your ebook can be, um, I think your checklist and this should be a lead magnet as well. Okay. okay. Instead of a okay. digital download per se, I think this should be a lead magnet because people love checklists and they love quizzes. So you have two lead magnets, one that they can download and one that they're going to take online. That's going to drive, mm -hmm. drive leads into your business on fire. Okay. I'm on fire driving leads into the business. Then once they, and that's for the ads, right? Cause you want to try to get people to the course. Then they're going right. to go to the, after they download it in, at the bottom of your checklist, Brenda, don't forget this. At the bottom okay. of your design checklist, you're going to want to put a QR code in the website to the course, the web address to the course. You're going to do the same thing at the, when they get done with the quiz. You're going to say something about congratulations, you scored this. Now click this QR code and, and take, the, uh, take the course. Okay. So you're going to be driving people to the course that way. And, um, okay. And then, of course, you can um, drive ads to the course by itself. And then, um, and then you know, then you get into the course. So okay. there you go. That's pretty simple. Okay. And then yes. you have your lead magnets. We, you only need two lead magnets. You only need two. Yeah. Okay. Two or three. No more than two or three. Because you're doing, this going to be so much. Um, mm -hmm. So you only need two or three just to get, just to guide them in there. Did you say I should have the QR code at the bottom of the, the course yeah. or at the bottom of the website? At the bottom of the checklist. Checklist, mm -hmm. okay. The checklist as well as the um, the quiz at the end of the quiz. Okay. Bottom of checklist and end of quiz. Okay. Mm -hmm. Writing it down. Mm -hmm. And then we already showed your lead magnets above. So we're not going to do any of these right now and then you got your course pricing okay your webinar pricing your course pricing i think your webinar should be free okay to, to get people over there yeah okay. i think your webinar should be free and then mm -hmm. you can have them pay the course because they already paid so you did so you, the webinar is free at the end of the webinar you could also give them a copy of the checklist if they don't buy um um, and then that way they'll have the checklist and they'll still have the QR code to go back and buy the course. They're going to be on your email marketing anyway. So you'll be sending them messages through email marketing, reminding them to buy the course. Um, and okay. then so it's still going to be layers there. You can definitely give that away for free so that you can drive okay. more people. You can post it on, on all the places everywhere. So when people go back and watch it, they can come back. That's free advertising. Um, okay. Sounds coaching good. classes. Okay, I like that. Coaching program pricing. Okay, I like that. And then digital product. Okay, I love. 
your coaching classes, but your coaching classes don't have to be an hour. I think it should be because on Reskillify, they're like, you can do monthly. So you can do, I mean, like, are you doing, how many coaching classes you plan on doing? Um, well, well, under that, um, under that adaptability code, there was a topic, there were a lot of different, um, you know, nuances that I could get. So I was going to break it all up. Um, I said an hour, but I, you know, I don't know exactly. What I definitely think it should be an hour, thing. but this is not one-on-one, -on -one, right? This is like group, right? No, it's a group thing. Okay. Yeah, group so thing. then what you want to do is, so your cost is 150 an hour. So let's pull the calculator out. And how okay. many how many coaching classes are you going to have a month? I was thinking I was going to have a, a, oh a month, um, maybe just two a month. Okay, is that too little? No, yeah. mm -mm. you can do whatever you want. This is your business. Right. This is your world. So that's essentially um, so three hundred dollars, right? Because one fifty times two is three hundred dollars. So mm -hmm. um, you essentially want to make three hundred dollars um, a month. So yeah, that's that's totally fine. So I um I think like if you're doing group coaching, um when you do it per week, the, the the better one would just be ninety nine dollars a month, because that's something that like people wouldn't mind paying on a monthly basis. So you would okay. you would want to do something like um forty nine dollars or twenty nine dollars a month to ninety nine dollars a month. Okay. okay. And that okay. way, if, if you do $99, if you do 99, hold on a second. It's my best friend. Todd, I'm live online. Is everything okay? Okay. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> just making sure because my, she just had a baby. I'm making sure my baby's okay. Um, right. So um, $29 a month, right? Um, okay. To $99 a month. Now, if you're going to give a lot of value, you do $99 a month, then I want you to think about how many people you want to have in your class, right? And so you might say, I want to do no more than 10 people in my class, then that's $1,000 a month. Is that $1,000? Okay. Did I do that right? $100 times 10, yeah. So it's like $1,000 mm -hmm. a month. So you decide like how many people you want to, um, do you want to get engaged, you know, that you want in your class and you push for that. So if you, if the course is, let's say $599, and then you charge people 99 a month and you get 10 people. Oh, you know, I like to calculate money, Brenda. <laughs> yeah. So $5.99 times 10 people is $5,999. And then you have mm -hmm. 10 people times 99, which is another thousand dollars a month. You have literally made, oh, I, I messed it up. I messed my numbers up. $5.99 times 10. Equals five nine. Let's say plus um, what was a thousand dollars. So it's six thousand nine hundred ninety dollars a month to pay some type of bill in your business or whatever, and okay. that's just with ten people. So if you have ten people have in the coaching, mm -hmm. huh? If you had twenty, then that would be double that. So, hey. yeah. All right, that sounds good. And then that's just your courses because you haven't even put enrolled anybody in the group coaching program. Right. Mm, so like in my right. space, I have coaching programs that people buy and then some people can't afford my coaching programs. So they take the courses and then some people can't afford the courses. So they buy the digital downloads. So I have something mm. for everybody at every level. But my company is always generating revenue, if that makes sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds and good. so y'all now the world, y'all seeing how things have gone and she's about to go and log in. And we got 30 minutes <laughs> before I need to be done. So she went in and created her course slides. And then, so now I want you to share your screen and show what you have, what you put together. Do you mind? Uh, no, I don't mind. Now, as far as the, the PowerPoint, are you saying? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes. Right, I'm going to stop sharing so you can, um, so you can share. <laughs> and okay. you can say great best friend yes i love my best she's one of my best friends in the world she has just had a baby i can't believe y'all was trying to get my cheat sheet look at y'all y'all are so funny that is hilarious that is all i saw was that cheat sheet that is so funny okay okay can you see it Yes. Oh, this is nice, Brenda. Oh, thank you. Look at this. Oh, my God. 
always ready, medical. I'm, I'm <laughs> what happened? Oh, wait, you stopped sharing. Oh, you don't want to share it? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I did. I did share. Oh, 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 I did thought I you were going like, like you know. Hold on. Let me get it back over there. I didn't I'm know. I'm like, okay, Brenda. Looks nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. I love this. You got it. Can okay. You see it? No, I see your screen. You sharing the wrong screen, I think. Well, oh, I know oh no, look right there. Two no, two things over. Look at the top. I see your um website navigating the change at the top. Is that it? Oh. In a PDF at the top, uh -huh. the fourth tab. Yeah, here it is mm -hmm. over here. Okay. There. There it is. Okay. okay. That, that's that's just the PowerPoint. Yeah. I, I was on the media thing. I don't know what happened with that. Okay. Also, yeah. Like, I'm not sure what oh, that is. Here it is. Here it is. Hold on one second. Let me okay. see what this. <laughs> That's yes okay that's the video right yes and how many videos do you have one or many i i just made this one i just really did the one thing for adaptability okay so, and this is 20 minutes I, yeah this is the 20 minute one yeah you want me to hit play or i yes i do let me see if i can hear it. navigating change thriving in critical care and other healthcare work environments Mastering Adaptability in Dynamic Healthcare Settings. Brenda D. Harper, MSN, RN. Course Objectives. To learn what is adaptability and flexibility. What are the components of adaptability? Why adaptability matters. How to apply adaptability to the workplace. How to develop the soft skill of adaptability. Target Audience. Registered nurses. Okay, so stop for a Nurse second. Okay. So I, I wish I would have, um, because I probably wouldn't have put target audience. I probably would have said, who is this course for? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Who is this course for? Who's best, who's best fit for this course? Because most people don't want to be considered a target audience. You know what I'm saying? Don't be mad. Oh. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. It, just, it doesn't. So it's like, who is this course for? Um, mm -hmm. so I, can you send me your, your video so I can take a look at it when I, um, while I'm, uh, I'm going to listen to it while I'm driving to my date. Yeah. Yeah. I can yeah. Send it to you. Uh, so that's one thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say is, um, so if your course is only 20 minutes, then I don't know if our pricing structure is going to be, uh, the proper pricing structure. It'll be more on the lower side, right? Because it's only okay. 20 minutes. If you are creating a course where, and it doesn't have to be big like mine was, like mine is, like my coaching program. My coaching program is seven different courses inside of one like facility, you know, in one side of one program. But each course mm -hmm. is its own stands alone. So just think about mm -hmm. how staffing preneurs is structured. We go through the setup, organizing in a niche, then the net, that's, that course can be sold alone. Then the next course mm -hmm. is the setup course. That course can be sold alone. Then the next okay. course is a so, and inside the setup course, there are modules with more than one video. So the adaptability mm -hmm. video that you have to me is more of an overview video. And then oh. you would take that video, that 20 minute video, and that could be the free webinar. And, um, and at the end of that, you could say, okay. um, you know, if you want to take the full course, but what you would want to do is break that course and in, in a little bit more. And, and I want okay. you to think about it in this way. Um, first of all, Brenda, you are one of the most, um, hey, Susie, I miss you. You are uh, one of the most um, amazing, smart people that I know. Okay. Oh, so, man, no, you. for real. And so I know I've been on here long, everybody leaving, but, um, but you, I think you have the ability to give way more value in that course. So I like okay. that the guy did the, did the um, thing on the side. Um, but mm -hmm. I, I challenge you, I, <laughs> I challenge you to do your own voice. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You well, have a great voice. You have a great personality. You are like, you know, your stuff better mm -hmm. than the voice does. So they're not going to project in the way that you probably would want people to receive your information. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah, think it's and, cool. and that is so true because mm -hmm. I was thinking it sounded, you know, almost robotic. He didn't, mm -hmm. he didn't emphasize words and concepts like I would have because he didn't really understand it. Mm -hmm. You know, he doesn't understand it. 
So I thought about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That and I, when that you I do teach, yours, get out there and teach my own yes, course, yeah. because when you get in there, you're going to be like, look, that you see how I am? Like, I love the work I do, right? Like, you mm -hmm. got to get into it. When you get into it, then people genuinely you know, will come back, um, you know, other people, you know, all of those things. So I think it's a great mm -hmm. starting point. I think it's great, like a master class, a 20 minute master class, give it away for free. And then at the mm -hmm. end of it, say, now take the full course. That's enough to tease somebody and to get them into mm -hmm. the full course. And then the full course, you know, you take a little bit of time with that. You can break the, mm -hmm. break each section down in a different type of way. And it doesn't have to be five or 10 videos in each section. It could even be three videos or two videos in each section. But you want to have at least okay. three or four sections that's broken down and have videos that are really diving into the adaptability. Start practicing with the scenario-based questions that you want them to pay for on a weekly basis so they can get fired up about it. So by the time okay. you are, are talking about, okay, every week we got... Uh, um, every two weeks we do this live scenario class. If you want to master adaptability, if you want to da 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 da, you got to come to this class. You want to get twenty people or ten people or thirty people paying ninety nine dollars a month to come to this class. Mm -hmm. So you can already start indoctrinating them into that from the very beginning. <laughs> you know what I'm okay. saying? From the very beginning, you can start indoctrinating them into that and really getting them fired up around. Um, around what you're going to be doing with your live classes. That also gives you an opportunity to make more deliberate um, d downloads. Those downloads that we decided we were going to do, you can put them uh -huh. purposefully with each individual section. If you did this 20, um, 20 a minute uh, mini course, you could give away the checklist with that for free. But you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But you, you're basically using that as lead generation. That's that's essentially okay. what you're doing because it's so small. Now we want to create a more extensive outline, right? We want to make it okay. more in depth to where somebody wants to pay five hundred and ninety nine dollars. And um, people are always asking, how do you know how much to charge for a course? It's all about the level of value that you're giving, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. If um, you can have your course doesn't have to be huge in order for you to pay a lot. It has to be valuable what i like for people to walk away with when they are watching my course is that i got more than what i paid for mm, right because right. then they're less likely to go back and try to refund number one because you're going to get that right but also number two they're going to buy everything that you do they're going to trust you they're going to believe in you mm -hmm. they're going to keep mm -hmm. coming back for more and that is mm -hmm. what i desire i desire to build the relationship i desire to help and that's the goal is to build a relationship I desire to build right. a relationship. I desire to help, right? Genuinely. So mm -hmm. I, I want that in, in engagement. So I think that uh, we want to expand the outline a little bit more. And, okay. and um, but I like this. I do want to make some edits. So I want you to go back to your guy and I want to make some edits. Like I don't want target audience on there. And I want to go through the whole thing for the 20 minutes and see it's probably some small changes we need to make. At the very okay. end, we'll put the QR code on the bottom at the very end of the back and then lead them to the URL where the course is. So when we come okay. back next week, instead of sharing what we put together here, we'll come back and share what we're going to actually put into Reskillify. So that'll give you okay. a little bit of time to get the changes done and give other people who are just coming in. Um, you know, an opportunity to go in, download the worksheet, start putting their course together, um, your outline together. You saw Brenda started with something very small. It wasn't anything large. It was very mm -hmm. small, but very impactful. And actually, you did the right thing. You did the free version first, and now you're going to go in and put the meat and potatoes in there. And when you put the All meat right. and potatoes in there, it's going to be dope. I'm really excited. How do you feel? I, I feel kind of nervous, you know, about doing the whole course because it, it took me a lot. I kind of sweated over that little bit that I did. So, but, but, you know, you're, you're helping me to, um, you know, give me more confidence, you know, that it's doable, that I can do it. So I'm just going to have to dig in and, uh, and expand my thinking and, and get it done. So let me, let me leave this with you. If you okay. are, if you are interested in genuinely making money off of the course, the work that mm -hmm. you do in the beginning, the work that you put in now is going to pay for itself a thousand times over. OK, so mm -hmm. that's number one. Okay. So if you think about it, you spend 40 hours building a course, but you get paid for the course for the next three years. Mm. OK, 
Right. Got it. You pay it. maybe you know five hundred to five thousand for the course, but you make two hundred and fifty thousand off of the course for the next two or three years. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm, so I it's see, so yeah. worth the effort in the beginning because you're going to end up having way more financially in, in every way, not just financially, but more relationships, more everything. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing I want to mm -hmm. say. The second thing I want to say is don't feel overwhelmed because the course you don't have to do, you don't have to pre-record the course. I, I don't think any of my courses are pre-recorded. You've been in my community. All of them are live. Right. All of them have okay. been recorded live. I am not a pre-record girl. Like, first of all, I get nervous when I go live, but I get nervous when I pre-record. If I pre-record, you better believe if you see something pre-record, I did that thing a million times. I don't do so mm. well under those circumstances. I do well mm -hmm. being my authentic self, right? Right on the right. spot. Yeah. And so yeah. what I do is I set a date. I say, you know, okay, this is, I'm selling my course. This is the date, whether people show up or not. Typically people show up, but I'm going to record my course on this day. And I'm going to go live and you're inviting people to come in to, to the course to pay for the course, but they're paying for the course and they're taking the course live with you. That first mm -hmm. group taking the course, they're taking it live with you. Okay? okay. And so then after the course is done, after y'all take it live and the course is done, then you take the course, you have somebody to cut the course up. And then you, uh, the recordings, you don't need that. All they're going to do is put a, a, a little intro on there, which is your logo with some music. Da -da 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 -da. And then your course mm -hmm. is going to start. So this is another thing. I'm going to tell you all my secrets are real. When you're recording your course, you've got to record it like you know that it's going in there. So I typically say, hey, guys, we're recording this course live. So um, don't say nothing during the course. I'm going to have a separate segment where you can ask questions. So that means that I'm leaving them in this space right here. I'm going to go in, I mute everybody out and I'll say, welcome. And then I start doing it. And then I'll say chapter one or module one, da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go and do my course and then I'll say, okay. And then I'll say, da, 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 I'll see you in the next video. And then I'll wait mm -hmm. and breathe two seconds. And then I say, okay, the line is open for questions. And then they'd be flooded. <laughs> what about da, 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 da. And then I record mm -hmm. the questions and I make that a separate video. So, because those questions were pretty valid, people are going to probably have those questions over again. So literally you're creating a course. You don't have to feel pressured about it at all. Okay. You, all you have to okay. have is your solid outline. So even the okay. outline that you have is, is probably good enough. You just got to add more mm -hmm. meat and potatoes to it on the back end. You know, maybe mm -hmm. add a few more slides to break those slides down with some pictures in there. And then you're talking mm -hmm. them through and then open up the checklist and say, we got this checklist. Oh, did you get your journal? Oh, we've got a journal as you're going through your just so you're going to start engaging them in the products that you want them to use with your brand mm -hmm. and everything on that. Ooh, I'm getting fired up just thinking about all the things <laughs> that you're going to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting okay. so fired up. So that's that's essentially, you know, what what you want to do. And I'm telling you, it works, 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 works. Like I okay. have, I, I'm not into showing bank accounts or nothing like that. That's not my style. But I tell you that I've, um, I've been here since 2011. Mm, I got mm. cancer in 2013. I stopped traveling and doing corporate training in 2013 because I got cancer. So 2014 up until now, it's all been coaches. It's all been courses, courses and coaching programs. Now, you know, mm. D Williams too pretty to be broke. I'm not that side, girl. <laughs> I'm not that side. So you know, you know it's that this, this, this works, okay? So this is gonna be great. So yes, you're gonna put a little bit of time in there, but you've already you've already done the the the, the hardest part. The hardest part is laying the idea out, the hardest part is getting the outline together. You've done all the hard work. Now all you mm. got to do is set a date. When we go in, next time we come in, when we go in, we'll just put your outline inside of Reskillify. It doesn't have to be any videos. Just do your outline. Okay. And then what I want you to do on your to-do list, this is your to-do list, okay? So you okay. want a video, either you're going to create it or you're going to have somebody create it, but you're going to do a welcome video to your course. 
Oh my gosh, welcome. Okay. Welcome to my course. Da, 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 da. So you want a, a welcome video and then one more video to just give them instructions. And I'll help you with that for the reskillify. Just showing them below. Here you can comment. Here you can see digital downloads. So we have a standard video we use, but we can give you the script and you can record it or have it re-recorded and then show them the video. It is just to give them instructions on how to utilize the, the portal when they're in there. And then... Okay. Um, what else? And then that's it. And then I would do a, a, a closeout video if you want to. And then we're going to start working on all your sheets, all your digital downloads and your lead magnets, getting those together. So you get those okay. together. So by the time you get those together, all you got to do is pick a date that you want to do the course. So that's going to be the mm -hmm. actual date. So you might say, OK, we're going to do the course October 31st. OK, I'm just making that up, whatever. Um, now, you know, mm -hmm. you've got up until October 31st to market the course. You got um, mm -hmm. up into that time to not just market the course, but also to get all your digital downloads and everything together. And um, yeah, and to just to be ready. And so once you actually launch the course, you're just going to do it live and you can do it live all in one day. So I have been a troop and recorded a whole course over the course of eight hours. Most of the staffing mm. preneurs has been with me. I, I said, Stacy, she says she's been with me since 2016. I believe that. So that means she's mm. seen me record a lot of these courses live. And I would mm -hmm. do it over the course of a week. I do it over the course of the week. I do it over the course of the month. You see how I'm doing Reskillify? Everybody don't have time to come uh -huh. hang out with me every day, nor do I. So I do it every Wednesday. And now it's been every other Wednesday. Everybody's been coming back. And I was thinking every week nobody's going to come back. And then I come back two, three, four hundred people to watch the video. So people are definitely mm. watching. Hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to say that. Yeah. Uh, people are actually watching and they're doing it. People are tagging me, texting me. D, I'm doing it. This, this is easy. I got this. So, mm. um, so yeah, I just wanted to ease your mind and let you know it doesn't have to be overwhelming. You've done the hard work. Now I feel like this is the fun stuff. Now that you got your outline, okay. you got your master class, mm -hmm. working on the digital downloads is the fun part. Because okay. think about it, you're getting all of the tools that's going to actually help them achieve whatever it is that they're going to achieve. So just like y'all mm -hmm. wanted my uh, my little sheet or whatever, like I made all these things for y'all with love. Like I literally mm -hmm. be in here like this at two o'clock in the morning. I'm like, you know, <laughs> absolutely no, for real. I'm not even lying. Like I really mm -hmm. be in here. I'm like, oh, they need this. Oh, they could do a cap. Oh, they should do this. Oh, we could do that. Oh, let me show them how to do this. Oh, maybe I should do it a little bit different. Maybe I can explain it in a different way. It's also an opportunity, Brenda, for you to genuinely fall in love with the work and the people that you're doing. I can't tell mm. you that I have enjoyed. I love recruiting. I love recruiting. I love recruiting. But, ooh, I love coaching. I love coaching. Mm. I love training. I love helping people. And this aspect is a different aspect. Finding people work. And teaching people to be better, those are two mm -hmm. totally different joys. They're two different loves, but they're both one of the most fulfilling feelings you'll ever feel in your life. Yes, yes. I actually enjoy teaching, you know, teaching different different areas and teaching health courses. And, you know, I'm not a teacher, but I like doing it in my spare time on the job in different places. Honey, so, you're yeah. a teacher. Um, a teacher yeah. does not have to be somebody that goes to school. I'm a teacher of light hard knocks. I'm a teacher mm -hmm. of recruiting and staffing. I'm a teacher of things mm -hmm. that I know best. All right. I'm a great mm -hmm. parent. So I know how to teach on parenting. I know how to teach mm -hmm. on, you know, so you, you're, you don't have to be, uh, uh, go to school to be a teacher. A teacher right, is someone right. who has knowledge and that can give value in, in a, in a special mm -hmm. type of way. And Brenda, I believe you have that in you. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, I love it. <laughs> y'all show Brenda yeah. some we, we love. We're gonna do it. We're gonna get it done. Yes, of course. Y'all show Brenda some love. She's amazing. I'm gonna just share this just a little bit so everybody can um, hold on one second. Y'all been hanging out with me all day. I'm gonna stop the screen. <laughs> y'all been hanging out with me all day. I want to go through really quickly because I had a couple of um, I had a couple of questions I want to go through. Um, it said here saying my agency needs your attention. Please let me know how to connect with you. You can go to staffingpreneursacademy.com. I will put the um, information here. Let me see at the bottom. And we have forms all over there. You put your information in the form and you'll be able to book an appointment right on the calendar, like literally. So just put your information in there. You'll be able to book an appointment on the calendar. And one of our reps 
We'll be able to talk to you. We would love to talk to you. We want to help you if you want help. We want to help you. We love helping. Um, Efren said, I'm excited about building my educational courses and programs. Where do I go to discuss retaining your coaching? Oh, this is awesome. I'll go to staffingpreneurs, <laughs> staffingpreneursacademy.com. And if you go to the up to the top where it is, let me just see. I don't want to guide y'all the wrong way, but it is, we have forms everywhere, but you can book an appointment when you go and put your info in. If you go to start your journey here, you'll see you can schedule a call, book a demo, take a quiz, enroll and contact us. So you can get in there and get right on our calendar there. So that's really cool. I love that. Um, I got so much traffic without any products or content on my page. I'm excited to build this community. Yes, it takes time. But what's a few months when your brand new life is just around the corner? Hey, <laughs> yeah. hey, he got that energy. He know, he know, he know. Ooh, I think that's my day. <laughs> Text to me. <laughs> uh, Anika, she said, yes, please. Yes, please share, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, share, like all of that stuff, y'all. In real life, I want y'all to share it with somebody who you feel like this video can help. All it's the seven series video. You can see them; they all numbered on my channel. And I'm just here helping people to level up. When it's time to level up, call D. <laughs> I was gonna say reskillify. It is reskillify, but call D. Uh, let's see. They uh, like this is all about my cheat sheet. That is so funny with the cheat sheet. I think I got all of the comments over here. I think so. I think so. Um, Susie said, I did my 12 week course at 48 hours streaming live now. Yes. I've gained lots of knowledge. I'll be signing up in January. I'll be waiting on you. I promise you, I'm going to be waiting on you. Luna, then, mwah, 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 mwah. Don't make me come to Florida now. Don't make me come to Florida. You know, I love you so much. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all show Brenda some love. Brenda, we love Brenda. We love Brenda for even allowing us an opportunity to for her to be our guinea pig. Our guinea pig. She's thanks, been so thanks, everyone. Thanks, D. I love you. I love you. This, I love this you is your goal tonight. I appreciate. You. I thanks, love you more. You. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. We'll be back not next Wednesday, but the Wednesday after next. We're gonna give people an opportunity because every time I book back to back, people call me and text me and they're like, D. I didn't have time to get this together. I didn't have time to get that together. So not next week, but I might leave a video in there. But we're not meeting next week. But we meet the Wednesday after next. We're gonna do digital downloads. We're going to talk pricing a little bit more. We're going to go over, uh, what else? Digital downloads, pricing, how much money you can make. Hopefully, I have my calculator ready for y'all. We're going to have a lot of fun, so just be ready. I love y'all. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, and let's rock this out. Have a great night. Thanks. You know I'm enjoying my date now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have a great night.